Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. Sometimes we face performance issue with some service or some method. Some method performs slower or throw more error than usual, but it is top to isolate the actual method that is slow or causing the issue when there is a chain of method we call to perform a big task. So if you remember, earlier I already explained how to monitor method performance using AOP around advice. If anyone is not aware about it, they can go to my channel and search for the tutorial Spring AOP at the track execution time. I will also share this link in video description so that you guys can refer it. Okay. However, in this tutorial, we will use latest Spring Boot 3 observability feature to monitor method or service class performance. Okay. All right. So without any further delay, let's get started. So to demonstrate this observability feature, I am taking the reference of an old project where I have defined the crowd operation of product object and you can see I have exposed couple of endpoint, add the product, get the product and update the product and delete the product. Okay. So here what we want to do, we just want to observe how much time each method is taking to complete its execution. Okay. So that is what we want to perform using Spring Boot 3.0 observability feature okay rather than using the around advice AOP. So the first step what you need to do you need to add two dependency go to your pom.xml and just add the dependency. So if you observe carefully I have added the Spring Boot starter actuator. I am using this actuator to get some statistical data for the method we are going to observe and also I have defined the AOP dependency to reduce the coding and take advantages of annotations. Okay. Now since you already added the actuator dependency, you need to enable it. So to enable that, you need to define the key in your properties file. Go to the application.properties file. Then you can just define management.endpoint.webexposure.include all the endpoint and show me the health details always. Okay. So these are the two key you need to define to enable all the endpoint of your actuator. Okay. Now that's fine. Since you want to observe execution time of e each method. So what you can do, we are not going to use the AOP. So that is the reason we have one observation handler interface given by this observability from Spring Boot 3.0. We can take that interface and we can create our own custom handler to print the log statement or to track the on start and on end execution event time. So for that the simple step what you can do first let me create a new package. I have defined it aspect because this is what the secondary logic we are going to perform right. We just want to track the execution time which is not something the primary for us. So I will just create a class here. Let's say I will just give the name performance tracker handler. Okay. Now this is the class since we want to use the feature of observability we need to implement it from observation handler. Can you see here this came from io.micrometer ok just use it then in this generic you can define observation dot context fine then you just need to add all the methods you need to override them. Can you see here? Let me first make it true. If you observe there are so many methods on start event, on error, on event and on scope open, closed, on scope reset, on stop. Okay. Since we just want to track the execution time of the method. So we just need to play with these two methods when the method is going to end of with its execution and when it got started. Okay. With these two methods, we can easily track the execution time. So what we'll do? Simply first let me add a log statement. So for that I will use SL4j from Lombok. Okay. Now next since we added the SL4j, I'll just log some statement here. Log.info 
I'll just define something like execution started and then I'll define the context.get name simple thing okay there is a method on start where we can track the current system time millisecond which is nothing the start time of our method and there is another method you will find on stop okay now in this on stop we need to subtract the start time from the current time that is what the simple step right so what I can do I will just set my own context so for that I will do one thing here I will remove this context dot get or context dot put give the key is nothing the current time which is system dot current time millisecond fine now I have defined my own context which is time now I can get the time from the context in the on stop method okay so that I can able to subtract it I will show you that so this is fine now go to the on stop method just remove this then just add the log statement execution stopped and then context dot get name and the total duration I am just taking the or just getting the current timestamp then from the context I was taking the initial timestamp can you see here then I am just subtracting it this is the simple step right and also if there is any error if you want to print something let's go to the error I will just add something log dot error ok or log dot info anything and just print whatever you want let's say I just want to add error occur and what is the error so the error I will just get it from context dot get error dot get the message ok that's it if you want you can also try with the other methods but that is not required as for our need now ok that's fine now since I created this handler class how observability will know that ok this handler class we have written to track the method execution or how he can call this on start or on stop or on error method right you need to register this handler to the observation registry so for that what you can do you just need to create another config class new java class I will name it observation ok now I need to annotate here at the rate configuration fine now simply just create a b in a public observed aspect if you observe this came from AOP ok that is the reason I have added the AOP dependency just add it and here I will pass the observation registry now now you have observation register with you let me zoom this just annotate this at the red bin now with this observation registry we just need to define our handler class ok so for that what you can do just use the observation registry dot observation config ok then add your observation handler can you see the method here so we have created the handler class new performance tracker handler right I am just giving its object fine then return this object new observed aspect of registry I mean observation registry ok fine so we have created the handler and we have also created the observation registry to register the handler now the approach is straightforward so everything is ready for the before and after execution now what you need to do go to the method which you want to track so I will go to the service ok let me zoom this so in the service I want to track for let's say this method I mean get all the product from DV ok so for that what you can do there is a simple annotation you can use observed 
and this came from io.micrometer.observation.annotation okay this from spring boot 3.0 so just use this annotation and also you have option to define your own matrix here so what you can do let, let me define the matrix name so if you remember i already explained in spring boot 3.0 video using observability how you can publish your custom matrix okay that is what we are doing here so i'll just define let's say get dot products now this is my matrix name so let me add the i mean i just want to also observe the execution time for this method and this add product method so i'll just change my matrix name this is get product okay fine so we have defined the or we just want to track the execution time for these three method add product get product and get products now if i hit update product or delete product it don't give me any clue about the execution time okay so we'll verify that so what we can do now let's go to the main class start the app it will take few seconds so you can see here it started on port 9191 now let me clear this so we'll just hit this all the endpoint okay go to the controller class add the product get the product and what is the root url slash products go to the postman so these are the endpoint i'll go to the post request i'm adding some random string okay send the request the record got inserted now if you'll go and check in your console can you see here execution started and this is what my matrix name fine and execution stopped this is what my matrix name and the total time it took 154 millisecond okay can you see here now let me clear this we'll verify for get all the products we got all the 11 record now go and check in your console execution stopped and this is what my matrix name set to the context and it took the total time 116 millisecond okay fine now let me hit the other endpoint get by id we got the result go and check in your console it took 22 millisecond right now if i'll try update and delete it don't give me any clue let me clear this because in update and delete we have not annotated this observed so in service right yeah in update and delete method we don't want to track the execution time i mean this is optional if you want to track for all the method present in a class define it on the class level rather than define it in method okay now let's verify it let let me delete something okay let's say i just want to delete the same object so i will change it to the delete send the request product deleted now go and check in your console no time nothing right there is no matrix i mean this is the server request duration that is that is what we have added in the code but that is not our execution time fine now similarly if you will try for the update you won't get anything so let me try if i have okay we'll do just get the object i mean we deleted this so get the object up to i will just update it okay just do the put and change the body remove this let's have change the price let me clear this send the request the price got updated let's verify in the console it's not showing right wherever you will add this particular annotation at that observed that value only be tracked that is what we have defined in the handler 
and we have also defined our own custom matrix. Now we will verify whether whatever the matrix we have defined, whether it is registered in actuator or not. So for that, what you can do, go to the browser, uh, 9191, actuator matrix. Can you see here, add the products, add products active, that is not our matrix, add product is our matrix and you can see here, get product and get products, okay. So if you want to verify each matrix, what you can do, let me take this, I'll create a duplicate of it, I'll just check the matrix, it will show me how many times this method is being called and what is the total time it took to execute I mean this is the average time okay and whether there is any error everything it will show so to show that what I can do I will also check for other get product which is by id right this method we call two times and there is no error fine and the total time this maximum time this similarly whatever the matrix you will publish you can track there all the status let me check for this we call this for one now we'll verify one thing we'll call get method many times two three we call it again three times and also I will call one time without, I mean, I just want to get some error. So that is what I want to show you. Let's say I will give some ID which is not exist. We got the error, right? What is the error message we got here? Let me check that. No value present, yeah. We got the error message, no value present. Now we'll verify this get matrix, okay? Go to the browser, this one. Now the count is 2, we call it 3 times I guess, yeah, 4 times. The count is now 6, this is what the total time, max time. And can you see here, there is a error we found, no such element exception, okay. So this is what our own custom matrix, where we are capturing this information. You can also override this attribute, that, that is another part of the video. I will cover it again, when I will explain the actuator of this Spring Boot 3.0. But for now, this is how you can define the custom matrix using this observability and you can track all your information, okay, measurement information also specific to the error, fine. And also you can track the execution time here. Now this one, let me hit one valid endpoint, you got the result, this is how. I'm getting the response stopped get product and the duration is 24 second sorry millisecond fine so you can use this observability feature to track the execution time also to publish your custom matrix to visualize the statistic do let me know in a comment section if you guys have any doubts that's all about this particular video guys thanks for watching this video Meet you soon with a new concept.